that was a song. That was. That was. That was a song. Why, well, why don't you tell me about uh, this song of yours? I don't think that. I can hear you. I I can't hear me at all. Like I'm. There we go. There we go. Ooh, yay. Okay. So anyway, uh, yeah. Well, so uh, that was habitual. Was it written about anything in particular? Uh, yeah, yeah. Addiction. It, yeah, it was written about. You know, heroin is taking over the world right now. Yes, and uh, from sure. from friends and family and other people, everybody has somebody that they know that's either gone through it or passed away from it and those kind of things. So that was my experience, my vision to, you know, do that. He gave me a good platform, that opening riff, and then from there we, it just was a freestyle that ended up coming out and it, it worked well. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We got lucky too. When we went into the studio, I, I had said I wanted to maybe play violin on the uh, keyboards, and instead we hired a cellist. I don't know where he was from. He's from St. Louis. He's a, right? he's a law student, but he uh, he was a second seat, second chair for the symphony. Yeah, for the St. Louis Symphony. So okay, yeah, he came and did some tracks for Dave us. Dave Arado. Yep. Yeah. So I mean, it, yeah, it's pretty much just a song about addiction. And, um, you know, the chorus is them showing my bruises, you know, pretty much just saying I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore from, you know, you can take it hypothetically from the bruises you get or the, uh, you know, just the life, the life changing, yeah. you know, things that happen from it. So it's, it's really sad. I don't I don't I don't know. But, uh, you know, it's it's definitely something that is uh, very prevalent in our scene as well. Just be, I think a lot of people that are really creative people have issues with addiction. Yeah. And so, um, like you said, everybody knows somebody. Yeah. Um, I, I know more than a few. I'm sure we all do. So it's, it's a really sad thing. But uh, it's it's sad that a lot of that comes from such a dark place. You know, you go back. Edgar Allan Poe was a morphine addict. You know, you got Hendrix. You got all these people that are so passionate. You know, and uh, you know that it comes from such a dark place. Sometimes that it burns out too quick. Right, right. Well, I mean, it's 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 definitely you know Scott Weiland. Yeah, Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison. Yeah, I mean the list could. I mean, For, it's forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, so many. I was just listening but, to Sublime on my on my oh way my from work and. And there was, the, I don't remember, the song was called Garden Grove, it was off 40 Ounces to Freedom, and he was singing about his dog, and then he says, I'm getting bored with life sticking needles in my arm. You know, it's so I mean, you know, even, yeah. I mean, I was talking about not an act by his choice just right before the show with the friend said I used to carry because that song was another song about heroin. Yeah. So it's, it's around. Um, I know one of the one of the cool things that's going on in St. Louis coming up is uh, not directly related, but close enough when you're coming to you know talking about addiction, which addiction is mental illness in my opinion. Yeah, you know, yeah it is. It's fact, uh, but uh, it's not my opinion. It is fact. Uh, but um, one of the things we are united is having their birthday bash, and uh, they are donating all the like that's going to benefit the American uh, Foundation for Suicide or some American Suicide, Suicide. Foundation, um, and then. Uh, Pacey and me has a friend that uh, passed away. They they raise money for that organization. Team something I off the top of my head. I don't know what it is, but they raise money money for that. So that's uh, I know when I was talking to Jordan, he said you know that was another thing that was kind of like an underlying theme because we all do know somebody. So yeah, well, and who who better to get involved since musicians and creative, you know, whatever artists of any kind are the ones that suffer a lot from this the most. Uh, what better way than to have it than to bands to step forward and say, "Hey, look, you know, we're right here at the forefront with you. Right. You know, we'll help you out if your family won't, or if you know, if you've burned all those bridges, you know, right. Those kind of things. So that's something really cool. If anybody uh, has been touched by that or uh, wants to contribute in any way, uh, that information is all on Pop's website on Facebook. But uh, I believe that's going to be on April second. Is he's having his big cool. like We Are United one year birthday party. Yeah. So um, that's that's a cool thing. You said you guys get your show on next weekend. Yeah, next Saturday. February 23rd? Uh, 20... 20, wait, no. What is that, the 27th? 27th, 27th. I'm sorry. My bad, my bad. 27th, yeah. And then we have our local networking night. Have you guys heard about this? No, no. Yeah, Jordan, well, Jordan asked us to play. Oh, and did he? Yeah, we got the show the next day, and it was, it was uh, or the, the night before. Okay, so well... We, we won't, be able to make it, you 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 could always just come. Well, yeah, yeah. And uh, the I mean I'm a part of the show, so I'm kind of promoting it as well. Cause I will be there to sign up other bands for this super fun local show that broadcasts live from the Millennium Student Center at Unsol. Woo! Woo! Uh, but uh, yeah, there's um there's going to be you know if there's a submissions email that you can send everything to, which I have a copy of that I can give to people. Um, if you you know. 
they'll have a list of everybody that's already in band. They'll get a special bracelet, so they'll have like discounted drinks uh, and uh, reduced entry fees. There are a bunch of bands playing on the bill. There's going to be, when it gets warmer, if it takes off, it's talking about doing like gear swaps and stuff. Can anybody try to do that? Like in person, we can do that out on the patio. I'm going to have a table to sign up. I know Shane Presley from Rock Paper Podcast is going to have Sugar a Sugar Shane. Table. Sugar, Sugar Shane. Shane. He is, I'm telling you what, he is just a doll. Yeah. We love him. And I'm actually recording with him earlier in that day. I'm going to be on Rock Paper Podcast. Yeah. yeah. I know. What were we, number 122? 122. 122. Podcast number 122. That was a fun night. I'm nervous. I'm not used to being the one that uh, is being he, interviewed. He makes oh. it really easy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's fun. Good, good, good. But, yeah. So, I don't know. What, what about uh, other local acts that you guys have like here in St. Louis. Oh man, there's so talk. many. Well, we talked. I'm I'm fangirling on Skyburn White right now. That's right. Why don't, yeah. why don't we talk about that a little bit? We got. Um, uh, I'm geeking on them guys right now. I met Mario at Maiden Wave show out there at Mikey's. Mm-hmm. Uh, just briefly talked to him, and then we chatted a little bit on Facebook, and I talked a little bit to Gabe, <clears throat> and uh, I think we're gonna. I'd like to try to do something with them guys soon. You know, do set up a show and get something together. We're talking about it, so we'll see if something comes to comes to pass man. hopefully i mean and uh great great harmonies great vocals they are and i mean they they were a band way back and like something how i think for a minute they started or it was a different project that was gates and mm-hmm. uh i don't i don't really know the story there mm-hmm. but i know like oh seven oh eight maybe okay. maybe a little before and uh that came past that just recently here in the last like six months they got, kind of get got the ball rolling again and it's really picked up momentum i saw them uh, their CD release out in St. Clair. I grew up in St. Clair. Oh, and, country uh, girl. Uh, well, I mean, I'm in Fenton, so oh, I uh, but I drove. Eh. It was Chrysler there. girl. It was a, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I drove a Scion, but no, uh, <laughs> I, it, it was a trip uh, the, out to St. Clair for that show, and uh, it was actually we talked about that last uh, on the uh, when Apollo's daughter was in because Lacey fell uh, mid set off a light box oh, at no. that show. She's fine. It, it and it's funny now, but. Um, yeah, it was New Lingo, Paul's Daughter, and Skybert White. And that's the first time I saw them back. And mm-hmm. since then, and then they're blowing up. I know they've got a show at America's Tavern coming yeah. up. They've got a show um, at Pops on, I want to say it's like it's April. That one at America's Tavern, they're actually filming a video. And yeah. you get to be a part of it if you just go down there and hang out with them. And that's that's the 23rd. Do you remember the twenty? The 20- Fifth. Fifth. Okay, yes. Go to America's Tavern. Twenty sixth. Twenty sixth? Yeah, because they're the twenty sixth, we're the twenty seventh, and then you guys are the twenty eighth. Right, 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 right. Okay. So yeah, you got three shows that weekend. Come out and be a part of the team. Yeah, support all three of them. Yes, always. Or you could do what I do. And bring money. (laughs) Cash. We don't nobody takes credit card (laughs) for any no checks either. No debit. Or link cards or any Don't of that stuff. I'm not things? trading you. Every time we play hippie concerts, like the big hippie festivals and stuff, especially me and him, everybody tries to trade us a CD for a sandwich, you know. And I'm sorry, I can't pay my mortgage with a sandwich. <laughs> trade them for some exposure. Deodorant. It's exposure, right? <laughs> yeah. Do it for the exposure. Would, yeah. <laughs> you should give it to you them. Can't, for... and, and patchouli oil does not cover up bathing. I want to let you we know this. We throw in the and razor. Of it, yeah. <laughs> so we play hippie shows. We have a CD pack that has a razor and some deodorant. Yeah. Maybe some mouthwash. They're care packets for the hippies. <laughs> we just sell a CD with that pack. And I mean, my mom was a hippie. And she doesn't smell bad. No. Yeah. Not all of them do. I don't understand that at all. Three shows in a row, and when we run into hippies, Where's I'm Gilbert sorry. Where's Gilbert when you need Okay, so Skybert White. <laughs> What's going on? Skybert White are not hippies. No. They're very nice, clean, smelling gentlemen. Yes. And uh, they have great this, hygiene on this great song called Afterglow that Joe has been super duper fangirling about. Yes. So uh, why, don't, why don't we go ahead and listen to that? What do you guys think? Absolutely. Uh, Let's do it. Afterglow by Skyburn White, and we will be back in a minute. Excuse me. <laughs> 